Charlie. Hi, how are you? Charlie on the prowl. Anybody that wants to wrestle me, I'm willing to pay. <laughs> well, if you get caught drinking and driving and they give you a locked key, so you have to breathe into the thing. Can't keep it built up in my system or I'll blow up like a volcano. You know, I actually made my own t-shirt. In this episode, we have a couple interesting stories and we learn about the properties of red maple leaves. And uh, the Italian kid, he was, he was a hot shit. Uh, he worked for Capital when I was on the team. And uh, he goes, oh, well, if you get caught drinking and driving and they give you a locked key, so you have to breathe into the thing. He goes, all you have to do is blow up a bunch of helium balloons when you're normal and then release the balloon into the thing. <laughs> okay, he's good. Start it up. <laughs> That's so funny. <clears throat> Yeah, see, Charlie. So that didn't actually happen to you. That was just a story. Well, yeah, he's kind of... I forget the guy's name. His brother lives in Derry. He goes up there once in a while. Antonio something, an Italian, Italian kid. He was good, though. We worked yeah. together on the capital team. Well, that's good. Yeah. Any type of question, I got a lot of answers. You ever lost a wrestling match, Charlie? Many times. Have you ever won a mess wrestling match? Uh, I don't believe I did. I don't think so. Well, the professionals kind of, they go around touring. They must be professionals. Mm -hmm. So then you're just an amateur, so I, yeah, I guess. What are you gonna do? Gotta ex exemplify my energy somehow. <laughs> Gotta do something. I can't keep it built up in my system or I'll blow up like a volcano. You know, yeah. so I got to find a way to get rid of it. That's you know? healthy. Well, I bike. I do a lot of biking. Mm -hmm. Cardiovascular. Stuff like that. Go down and see people in Medford in the town. Yeah. Come back on the bus. Just don't want to get hit by a skunk. I, got, I can't believe I got skunked. Right on Courier Road. Uh, no more cribbage games for me. <laughs> every, time I, every time I play, I get skunked. And I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> is that beer going to Charlie? Is it a good beer? Yeah, it's cheap. It is what it is. You know? That's good. I yeah. just don't understand why I gotta pay $3,500 for two girls to wrestle me and that fucking Robbie Cla Kraft's a fucking billionaire and he only spends 50 bucks. Really? I mean, really? I, I think you might... You need to be more harsh. You need to bargain with them, Charlie. Try to drive down that price. I think you're just accepting the first price. Maybe that's your mistake. They make the price. I don't make the price. Well, there you go. You tell. You gotta tell them. I'm not paying that price. And then maybe, you know, they'll want your business. They'll no own. money, no honey. <clears throat> yeah, but you give them less money. You know, it's haggling with them. Yeah. I don't know. I got other things to do here. Try to whip this down, see? Yeah. So here. Yeah. You gotta get a whipper. Because the whippers he has don't work. <clears throat> Boy. All this stuff here. I'm gonna clean all this up here. What's this, Charlie? This is the boat dock. Oh, I see. That's why there's a cement block on oh, my shirt. Oh, oh, get I see. it? Those are he the two tried pieces. To, he tried to, what he wanted to do is he tried to, he wants to roll that thing over here and make a boat dock and then put those in there. But guess what happened? Family doesn't get along, moss grows, left it over the 10 years out in the winter. It's no good, throw it out. Throw it out. Saw it online. You have a growing brand, Charlie. Yeah. Soon we'll start selling t-shirts, our own version of the t-shirts. No, I actually made my own T-shirt. You did? I did. Like a lot of them, or just one? No, one. Well, if we make a lot of them, we could sell them, Charlie. No, these were three shirts that I did. I painted them myself. They're in the bungalow. I gotta show you on team. 
Okay. New York Rock and Soul Review. Boss Skaggs. Everybody else. Donald Fagan. Walter Becker. It was a good show, too. I made my own shirt. And your own shirt. Charlie, what's on your shirt? The We're going to slowly get rid. We're slowly going to make some headway here. Yeah. Make some headway. I, uh, have you already made headway since the beginning of the series? Well, maybe. Well, definitely. That over there wasn't there. We started. Well, I have to do it because people are sick. So when people are sick, they have to come to me. You're the no, doctor? No, I'm... I know about things. And I know about dirt and how my grandfather grew the garden. He did a lot of ingenious things, Jim did. Botany. Jim. Well, b botany is like growing plants and all that. No, Jim, I'll show you. Okay. I can't really say this. I'll get in trouble. Yeah. That's a plumbing pipe. <laughs> See this right here? Mm -hmm. Don't tell me that's not a real tree, Charlie. That's a red maple leaf tree. Okay. Now, you go spend all this money, go to all these fucking hospitals, they nothing but fucking kill you with a bill, and they don't even fix you right. Uh -huh. Those leaves turn red in the fall. Uh-huh. Now, what do you think that happens? When do I think that happens? In the fall. Red. Sugar maple leaf. Uh-huh. Only red. Nothing else. No well, place where are we going, Charlie? I'm not going through poison ivy. Fair enough. Every bag of red maple leaves was knurled into this dirt. Sugar, red maple leaves, off the tree after late September. Knurled into this dirt. This whole area was a garden. Yeah. That was the secret? That was the secret. Oh, beautiful. Gets knurled into the dirt over there. Year after year after year after year. You're eating the sugar off of the leaf mm -hmm. into the vegetable from the water from the river so it's sweeter because of it no it what it does is it it's like a um it's like an anti-defense system for your body it doesn't uh, it see, doesn't yeah. allow the dementia it doesn't allow the cancer it doesn't allow things I see. to I see. enter along with cardiovascular Vascular exercise with put the, biking. So you put the red... Pump, pumping the blood. Pumping the blood. Not having it settle. So it... Oh, I see, yeah. <laughs> so you get more oxygen going around. Right. Okay. Right. And then what you do is you eat a lot of blueberries and cranberries when they are ripe off the Not the raw ones. Not the ones in the store. Take them yourself. Live off the grid. Go up to Maine and pick them yourself. So you do? Yeah. Small you can, ones. You can Little small. They sell them at Whole Foods, I think, in late July or something. They're expensive, but they're little small blueberries. Mm-hmm. Those are the good ones? Well, small blueberries. What happens is, is you eat the blueberry, it goes into your brain. The blood vessels in your brain are always constantly throbbing and pumping and sucking and doing whatever they do. Yeah. 
when you have the blueberries and the cranberries inserted into that, you're kind of anything that was any kind of carbon or anything, any clog or anything, it just eats it out. It's got like an acid or something. Oh, I see, yeah. And it, it eats goes it right in there. Right. So your brain is constantly alive and yeah. thinking. Not, it's, it's like, not the walking dead. <clears throat> it's like uh, biking for your heart. Right. I see. So everything is in a cycle. So I got these herbs growing. And I got some people that are pretty sick. Mm -hmm. um, and so we'll see what happens. These herbs on them. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to say. I can't really. It has to be picked right away. And then you got to cook it on a pan or something. Maybe yeah. a little olive oil or something like that. Maybe a couple of shallots. Something like that. Shallots, yeah. And then kind of make it steam a little. And uh -huh. then you eat it. That's the recipe. So the yeah, yeah, you kind of have to flush the body out and somehow. Yeah. So it's like an enema. Ah, uh, yeah. But you know, you just try to keep it clean all the time. That way it keep, doesn't. Yeah, it's like a car. You don't want your car to get all gunked up. You want to keep. Yeah, it's like through. it's like mystery oil. You know, you open the. Somebody gets in the car. They put the gas on. You pour the mystery oil in the carburetor. All the white smoke comes all over the place. Yeah. It's. The same concept. Right, it's flushing the system out, is what it's doing. And we need to flush the government system out by having you selectmen and cleaning the place up. Eh? Yeah, we'll see what happens. See what happens with that. We're gonna see what happens with that, but there's gonna be a lot of changes coming. And if you don't like it, then that's tough luck with you. I mean, you're the one that polluted the place, the other one's gonna have to clean it up. What can I say? Fair enough. I don't take you to court. I don't give you a fine. You just take I don't put you in scuba place. I don't put you in jail, but I want you to clean that whatever that was a deficiency is going to have to be removed. <clears throat> uh-huh. So, <clears throat> fair enough. <clears throat>